Hello dear learners in today's video we are going to talk about the repeatedly asked questions from the chapter antibiotics as you all know antibiotics since now it is a very wide and generalized topic and it covers in almost entire the major important part of uh, pharmaceutical chemistry as well as pharmacology so antibiotics are also important from the exam point of view which covers wide range of questions now from antibiotics we will see few of the questions which i have sorted out from the previously asked uh, question papers like uh, board examination uh, question papers so we will start with the questions now first question is from the repeatedly asked questions like define antibiotics definition is important define antibiotics and give the structure stability storage uses official preparations means almost all the things are important structure stability storage uses official preparations of benzyl penicillin that is penicillin g benzyl penicillin is also known as penicillin g so you will have to remember this that benzyl penicillin is also known as penicillin g then penicillin v is also again one penicillin which is also known as phenoxymethyl penicillin so they the, these are the common names and this is a generalized term like penicillin g is used so about penicillin g almost uh, every entire uh, entire everything is covered uh, as that of penicillin v so both penicillins are important and this question carries 4 marks actually this question complete is of 3 marks and definition carries 1 mark then question 2 says classify antibiotics with example here classification of antibiotics uh, including all the classes like it includes chemical class also mechanism of action also so this classification in brief you are supposed to write down with the examples so this question carries 3 marks and classification is asked in another way also like you like in your sulfonamides the classify sulfonamides based on their uses ya fir uh, they have asked a question like um, classify sulfonamides based on the antimicrobial spectrum that is nothing but uses classify sulfonamides based on the mechanism of uh, sorry duration of action so same way the questions are asked on the antibiotics also now this is the overall classification of antibiotics or including all the classes and when it comes to other type of classification they are asking you uh, classify antibiotics according to the chemical structure with example that means according to the structure we are supposed to classify or either according to the mechanism of action we are supposed to classify the antibiotics so this question also comes for 3 marks in case of mechanism of action as we have discussed in the video you are supposed to draw the diagram and then you are supposed to uh, mention the classes all around the diagram along with the examples uh, so that will give you an overall idea that um, it's it's like a summary and then in brief you can mention down below the classes along with the example question number 4 it says give the uses and preparations of now here uh, this question like separate question is there in uh, previously asked question papers like previous question papers uh, so the question comes like give the uses and official preparations of so various drugs amongst various chapters they have been asked so the the, the question is like attempt any two and the question is uh, from antibiotic the question is chloramphenicol Uh, chloramphenicol uses along with the official preparation they are asking whereas rifampicin along with the uses stability storage they are asking now if you might have noticed uh, like in your uh, coagulants okay then anesthetics uh, the stability and storage is very very important so same way from antibiotic stability and storage is again a important question so you are supposed to mark that stability storage now it is rarely asked and, and it is uh, like uh, particular drugs on which the stability and storage question is asked there are some particular drugs on which official preparations and brand names are asked so 
we are supposed to uh, logically remember that uh, aha this chapter is important from stability storage point of view that chapter is important from the brand name point of view so likewise you are supposed to categorize and certain chapters like for example vitamins and diagnostic agents they are exam uh, they are important from uses point of view so you are supposed to mark uh, logically when you study and for that you need a brief study and regular study so uh, this these are the few things which you are supposed to remember when it comes to stability and storage that antibiotics uh, chapters like antibiotics and aesthetics okay then uh, vitamins also you might include but very rarely they are asking on the vitamins and uh, what was remaining like um, vitamins are there antibiotics are there and anesthetics like anesthetic stability storage is also very important so these are the few chapters for which you should focus on stability and storage of their drugs so rifampicin is asked along with the uses and stability storage so this question carries 3 marks Question number five. It is write the structure, chemical name, uses of penicillin V. That is phenoxymethyl penicillin. This question also carries three marks. Then question number six says classify the antibiotics with example from each class and write the structure of penicillin G. Now classification along with the penicillin G that is benzyl penicillin structure. this question also carries 3 marks now as you will come down the qu next question is what are antibiotics now here along with the definition examples you are supposed to write down the common uses of antibiotics like uh, what are the parameters so this will include the answer for what are antibiotics and you are supposed to classify them with the examples again the same question is repeated draw the structure of benzyl penicillin so this question also carries 3 marks if the complete question is as same as it is like this then the question carries 4 marks like along with what are antibiotics and this classification and structure carries 3 marks question number 8 name the drug containing following heterocycle the heterocycle is beta lactam heterocycle so beta lactam ring actually it is so beta lactam ring containing antibiotics you are supposed to name so that question carries one mark uh, now now the beta lactam antibiotics uh, are like um, penicillin cephalosporins etc which contains beta lactam antibiotic the next question is write the uses of now these uh, antibiotics are also again important from the uses point of view and uh, this tetracycline rifampicin chloramphenicol cefalexin these are few of the antibiotics on which uses uh, these are antibiotics which are important from the uses point of view so each uh, antibiotic use will carry two mark next question it is like draw the structure from the given chemical name and the structure is like d6 alpha aminophenyl acetamido penicillinic acid so this name will be given now oh, this structure for time being you remember that it is ampicillin when we will cover the chapter you will come to know about the structure of ampicillin and it's iupac so this question carries one mark that you are supposed to draw the structure from this given chemical name then next question is what are beta lactam antibiotics you are supposed to draw that beta lactam ring you are supposed to draw the general structure of penicillins and then you are supposed to give the members of the beta lactam antibiotics so that will contribute the answer for what are beta lactam antibiotics and discuss the properties and uses of ampicillin now ampicillin is again important from the uses point of view like here there was a question right the uses of so ampicillin is also a part so properties and uses of ampicillin is being asked and this question carries 3 marks next question is write the brand names of all these antibiotics antibiotics are benzyl penicillin that is penicillin g then ampicillin amoxicillin erythromycin tetracycline so all these drugs brand names we are supposed to write down and each uh, antibiotic brand carries one mark question number 13 next question that is name the drug present in the following brand 
so the brand name is given to you that is althrosin and the drug is erythromycin erythromycin exist under the brand althrosin so the drug present in the althrosin brand is erythromycin mm, this question means there are uh, questions as like uh, many brand names will be given so attempt any two or attempt any three will be given so this question will come for uh, come in from question 2 to question 6 for 3 marks and various brands might be given from different chapters and you are supposed to uh, draw the or you are supposed to write the name of that um, drug which uh, exists under the following brand next question is what are aminoglycoside antibiotics give the examples of them so aminoglycoside antibiotics you are supposed to discuss along with the uses and you are supposed to write down the uses so what are they we will discuss in detail when we will cover the part of antibiotic one by one so this question carries three marks the next question is draw and explain the structure of basic nucleus of penicillin and enlist different penicillins so same as that of beta lactam antibiotics as i have mentioned earlier you are supposed to draw the basic nucleus of penicillins beta lactam ring then thiazolidin ring and uh, various am uh, this amide substituent from the left hand side so all the basic structure you are supposed to draw the penicillin and you are supposed to give the substituents uh, which will automatically enlist different penicillins so this question carries two marks the in tabular format also you can enlist the penicillins we are going to discuss it in detail in the further upcoming videos on each and every topic from the antibiotics so coming towards the summary as you might have experienced there were many questions from the antibiotics and at the starting of the video only i told you that this chapter is important from exam point of view also so it covers wide range of questions now here a summary will include definition and classification of antibiotic then complete drug penicillin g and penicillin v you are supposed to cover along with the aminoglycoside antibiotic note and uses you are supposed to um, in video also you can recollect chloramphenicol uses are asked along with official preparation and rifampicin uses are asked along with the stability and storage and other antibiotics if you will recall the video only uses are being asked then brand names of uh, certain drugs are important like uh, penicillin G that is benzyl penicillin, ampicillin, amoxicillin, erythromycin, tetracycline etc. So with this we finish with the repeatedly asked questions from the antibiotic. Stay tuned for our topic videos each and every topic we will cover in detail on antibiotics. Thank you.